Welcome fellow shedders and welcome to episode two of Scale of the Day. So we're going to stay on some of the same themes that we explored on episode one, the major sixth scale. We'll stay in 4-4 and we're going to start on the root. But instead of starting the scale on the beat, whether it's, you know, one, two or three or four, delayed or anticipated, this time we're going to start on the and of beat, which essentially means that things get shifted around. They can be delayed or anticipated. So let's dive in and see what that means. So before, if I started on the beat, I used the Barry Harris rule number one, which is adding the half step between five and six. Two, Perhaps by delaying it by an eighth note and starting on the end of beat one, take a listen. One, two, three, four. No half steps. So there's one scale pathway that we can take um, around some kind of cycle or movement. Today, I thought we would focus on a movement up, and up or down chromatically. One, two, oh, one, two, three. Or downwards. So there we delayed it by one eighth note. And I played one octave going down. We could do the same thing going up. One, two, oh, one, two, three, four. Now one rather neat thing that you can do as a scale practice is to start on the and of beat going in one direction and it'll land you on a downbeat. For instance, if I was to come down the scale, I land on a downbeat. So I just went back up the scale, but this time because I started on a, an on beat, I started on beat one, I stuck the half step between five and six. I'll do that again, two. I want to. So you could do that round, uh, some movement or some cycle. And of course you can do the mirror image of that. Two, I want to be. So there's some Great things right there to practice, but wait, there's a whole lot more. And here's the more. We have some different line lengths now that we could explore. On a descending version, perhaps we could do a set of 12, a group of 12. One, two, three. Notice as I get further down the scale, I'm starting to land on chord tone downbeats. So therefore I put the half step rule on there. I could do a 12 grouping on the way up too. Three, four. How about a 10 note, a little bit shorter. One, two, three, four. Same going up. Okay, since we're at it, let's do a few more, some shorter ones. How, how about a six? How about a four? How about one where the uh, the landed the end note doesn't last as long? It's a little tricky. Ooh, a 
just got through that one. <laughs> what about a further delay? So instead of the and of beat one, how about the and of beat two? Oh, one, two, three, four. And we could make that move a little bit faster um, around our cycle or our movement. Of course, with all of these, all of these delays, we can make longer phrases out of these. And that's up to you, uh, just how long you want that scale to run. Because as you move further down the scale, after you've started on an and of beat, you're gonna land on some scale tones. So then you can play scales with added notes in there. One, two, three. But since we're exploring the and of beats today, let's stay on that same theme. There's the delayed bucket that we looked at. There's also the anticipated bucket that we can draw from. So we could anticipate it by starting on the end of four. One, two, oh, one, two. We can do that going up, two, oh, one, two. Anticipate by starting on the end of three. Oh, one, two, three. Of course, we can make all of these scales lines run at different lengths. We could anticipate this even more. How about the end of two? One, two, three, four. And today we'll take a look at the song Ladybird. I know we've been doing a lot of starting on C and we'll uh, get out of that habit very soon, but let's just stay with C for today. So the first treatment that I'm gonna do on this song by using scales is do a descending version. And the first descending version will be starting on the end of one. One, two, three, four.
C, but I'm actually thinking of A flat already. I'm not actually playing anything on that C, and I'm not playing anything on this D flat 7 as well. Because I'm anticipating into the chord change. Do that again. Three, four. exploring uh, one where we anticipate by starting on beat four. One, two, three, four. piano, I strongly recommend that you play these uh, with a play along track so that you can really hear how they're working out. So I'm going to wrap it up there for episode two. There are of course a whole lot more possibilities with this idea of anticipating and delaying, but I didn't want to do yet another huge long video. So I'm going to leave it there for today and we'll explore some of those perhaps when we get into some of the other scales.